What's up guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right, you're in luck, because me and my beautiful little wife here, Sharice, are gonna give you guys great tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite, excite, and take your relationship to a whole new level. And hopefully a good level at that. Every week we're coming up with, with great things to share with you guys, whether it's from personal experience for me and Sharice, or from something we've seen from maybe one of our friends, mm -hmm. colleagues, or just out and about what we've Great witnessed. Great observations. Right? Yeah. You know, people watching, okay? Yeah. And we like to people watch when we go to places. So, of course. Um, it's just interesting how you see couples interact with each other and, mm -hmm. and do certain things. And it just always brings up to us, like, you know, what we're doing, kind of comparing that to them. Mm -hmm. All right, so first off, New Year's resolutions, okay? And now uh, you've passed Christmas. Hopefully, you guys had a good Christmas. You guys got all the presents you wanted from Santa Claus. Oh, oh, you got oh. to eat all that good food. Um, but now New Year's is coming, right? And you know what comes with New Year's? The New Year's resolutions. Oh, yeah. And these resolutions. A whole new life yes. awaits me in yes. the next year. Yes, yes. Three days from today. Yes. What, what more could those three days do for you and change your life in those three days? Because it's going to be 2024. Mm -hmm. So... Let's get into it. New Year's resolutions. Now, these resolutions can be anything across the board, right? It could be, hey, I want to lose weight. I want to do better at my job. I want a better relationship with my partner, right? I want to do some more fun things this year. Whatever it is, okay? Now, it's good to set resolutions. I'm not going to say and sit here and say, well, just because you set a resolution doesn't mean you're going to do it, right? Yeah. And what's it going to take for you to do this resolution? So making the resolution is the first part, and that's really something that you're putting into perspective about what you want to achieve, what goal you want to accomplish, whatever it may be. So that's a good first step, right? But what are you going to do to follow up an action plan? To How are you step? going to achieve the goal? That's right. Right. What plan? You'd be like, I want to do this, and I want to do that, and I want to do that, and I want to do this. But like, how are you going to get there? That's right? right. You know, what's the vehicle of success? That's right transportation what's going to get you there right? I, have, I, I, I have a few things that can transport me to uh my goals <laughs> so you know figure out whatever that goal is and start writing down an action plan things are going to help you accomplish that goal and then at that point you can look at it and start really getting into those steps now what i tell everybody off i'm like listen don't you don't have to wait till new year's to start your resolution so if you're starting before New Year's it's like a thing, and you're accomplishing it, yes. Right. If, you, if you're a cigarette smoker, right, and you're like, I'm going to stop smoking for the New Year. That's my resolution, right? Most people will smoke all the way up to the 31st, and then the first day of the year, I'm not smoking anymore. That's it, right? They always do whatever they're not going to do. Like, if you're going to lose weight, right, <laughs> you guys go out and have this fiesta, right? And you eat, like, you know, two pizzas, french fries, hot dogs, whatever you can get your little hands on, right? All the way up to the 31st. So on the 1st, you starve. No, I'm just kidding. Don't starve. But essentially, I mean, you're on your diet now, right? Because you're starting your resolution. So, I mean, we all know what resolutions are. John's covered that great. Yeah. So now we got to get into, like, the personalized things, right? Yes. Yes. So the personalized thing would be me asking John, what are your New Year's resolutions? Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. Mm. Curveball. Boop. You know, I usually don't set New Year's resolutions too much. but it, He I, really doesn't, but he does. But there are a couple that I usually say every year, and that's one, we're going to get bigger at Titan Medical Center. Like, well, I'm going to take Titan to a whole new level in 2024. Um, and not that we haven't taken it to a whole new level every single year. So I've accomplished that goal every single year, and I'm just going to keep accomplishing that. Obviously, I want to improve my health and have, you know, better time with my family as far as it goes or more time with my family in the future. So I'm working towards those goals and putting the things in place that I think I need to achieve those goals. Um, what about you? Me? Resolutions? 
Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm, I'm pretty like on the same point with John. Um, you know, I obviously want to do what's best for Titan and all the people that are inside of Titan and all the people that are involved with Titan, AKA our patients. Always want to do the next best thing. What's going to be the next best customer service move? Like what, what, what are the things that are going to set us apart? Right? So that's something we've done every year. And luckily we've been successful at it. Knock on wood. We have been successful. Um, but my personal goal, I would say is for this year, I already kind of set some standards and some like benchmarks of where I want to be in my life with John, obviously, because he's not going anywhere. Um, but where I want to be in our life, but at these benchmarks of like, whether it's 40, 45, 50, 55, if I see it, but, um, you know, I want to hit these benchmarks, but in the meantime, one thing that I feel like is kind of slipping away from me a little bit is, uh, it's Peter, you know, it's, it's Peter and the time with Peter, mm -hmm. right? So some people look at different things as like, you know, what they consider, I'll call it as being rich, right? And like some people need, you know, three, four, five, six million dollars. Some people need $20 million in the bank account to be rich, right? Some people might be able to do certain things and that's what they're considered rich. Or people travel, that's considered your rich, right? Well, my rich is being able to spend time with Peter and my husband. You know, I get to see him every day, but I don't really get to spend time with him. We, I mean, we're always talking about work, so, you know, you have to separate the two. True. But I mean, you know, Peter's going to be 15 next year and it's, it's dawning on me like, oh my goodness, he's going to have his permit and the next year he's going to be driving and he's going to drive <laughs> away. <laughs> no, come back. So that is probably the top resolution is to make sure that whatever I do that obviously that I put my health first instead of putting the business before my health because I suck at that. And then obviously putting my family time, quality time before anything or anyone else. Yeah. So. That's key. So your resolution might be different than ours, right? Yeah. You, you might, might want to lose weight or you might want to hit a certain goal. Yeah. Whatever it may be. That's you might want to buy a new house. It's your personal resolution. And you guys should start, if you're in a couple situation or married or whatever it is, have a resolution together, what you guys are going to accomplish. And that's where I want to dive into next. Because when you hear about New Year's, you hear about resolutions. So I want to get through that with you guys and kind of talk about, you know, what we did successful to get our resolutions to where we wanted them or to accomplish those. But the next part is New Year's. It's New Year's. So what are you guys going to do for New Year's? What is your plans for New Year's? You know, are you guys going to sit at home and, you know, not do anything? Or are you guys going to sit at home, maybe drink some little champagne and wine and have a good time together, right? You guys um, going to go out in town. Are you guys going to go out? Or are you guys going to do something? Or maybe you haven't done anything in such a long time on New Year's. Mm -hmm. And... You know, there's a valid excuse out there like, I don't want to go out for New Year's because all the crazy drunk Drinking drivers. Drinking and driving, yeah. That's a and big yes, one. yes, there is a risk of that any time that you go out, right? Unless you go somewhere and spend the um, night. You know, you could spend the night, right? You could go. Like at a hotel, you know, like, and go to like an event at a hotel or something. This is something you can do. That would be cool. You don't have to drive. You can go back to the room and, you know, do whatever you want. And you're going to have a good time at an event that's going on at the hotel. Yeah. Definitely think that's a good, good option. Yeah. And if you haven't done anything, get out and go do something. And it doesn't mean... They have to go to some crazy event. You can go out, go see fireworks. If you're here in Florida, I mean, you can even buy your own fireworks and do it in your backyard. There's so much you can just do. Just please do it safely. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, we have those. Like <laughs> but, you know, this is something you guys want to go do, and this is something that will, you know, bring you as a couple together. Hopefully, right? You know, hopefully, you guys can, you know, be able to drink responsibly, and you guys aren't getting out of control. That's one thing, right? Because nobody likes a bad drunk on New Year's. Nobody, okay? Especially Nobody likes a bad drunk ever. The best thing that you could do is, is go out and enjoy your time together and bring in the New Year with a kiss. Yes. Right? Everybody kisses at New Year's as a couple, and that's something that you should in incorporate into your relationship, marriage, whatever it is, uh, and enjoy it. And if you can enjoy it underneath the fireworks on, on New Year's, God bless you. If you guys are in the cold weather, you guys aren't probably doing that, but there's a whole bunch of inside events that you guys can go enjoy yourselves at, I'm sure. And make sure you dig for that sparkle, right? So you have like the fireworks and the ball drops and you're like, woohoo, yeah, ah, what's that new year, me? So look for the sparkle with your husband, boyfriend, fiance, girlfriend, whatever it might be. And you know, feel the sparkle. You know, it's like a, it's like a little, like a little bug in your tummy, yeah. except it doesn't hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's key. And if you guys have lost that fire, this is time to regain that fire back. Yeah. Light it time, up. Time to go and time to ignite it. Time to throw some gasoline on it. Yep. 
um, because we only have one life to live, right? Exactly. And you only have one life to live and your partner the exact same way. So why not live to, you know, to the fullest together, right? Instead of, you know, not doing that or, you know, being boring to a certain extent. Like if it feels like it's too routine, get out of the routine a little bit. Uh, explore some things together. I mean, this is something that really will bring you together because it's new experiences mm -hmm. and you can make memories out of it too. So video, um, pictures from New Year's, right? You can say, oh my God, look what we did last New Year's. And we always look back at that yeah, stuff. Yeah, always. You know, we're like, oh my God, this was so fun or that was so cool. Or, Do you remember what happened here? You know, so it's just, you know, every year is, is something new. Um, and if you have kids, so if you have kids, you can spend, you know, spend some time at home with the kids, I guess. Mm -hmm. But if they're too young or, or something like that, you know. Call if, your mom and dad. If you have a mom or dad, <laughs> um, they can babysit them. Or your nanny or your best you friend. You can do that. You know? Your neighbor. As they get older, you guys might be able to go journey off and go do a vacation with a whole family spending New Year's. Yeah. I mean, I can remember back in my childhood, you know, a couple of times. I think one time we went on a cruise with our family. We were on New Year's. I remember it to a T. And, it, you know, it was fun. I don't like cruises, you know, personally today, but, you know, back then it wasn't as crowded and uh, it was a good time. And I can remember those New Year's. I remember New Year's when I first moved down to Florida, I think the year beforehand, I went down Memories. to Pappas' restaurant Memories. with my parents on New Year's. It was really nice, really fun. And I know teenagers usually don't want to be around their parents <laughs> and stuff like that. But usually yeah. they go to the event and they'll separate and they'll find all the other kids or right, people right, of their right. same age, right, and hang out with them yep. the whole time at the event. So. You know, if you have to make it family oriented, do that too. There's nothing wrong with that at yeah. all. Um, but if you can get some time alone, enjoy New Year's, enjoy each other, and get those resolutions and stick to the resolution. Don't let it be like a gym resolution where I'm going to go work out. And and you work, work out, out the first week and then you stop. And you're done. Don't do that. <laughs> stick to it. Hold yourself accountable, yeah. right? And then you will be better off all the way through and through. So, I think that covers New Year's from resolutions to what you can do as a couple to enhance your relationship and to bring you guys closer together. So don't worry, we're gonna be back every Sunday this New Year's of 2024. Don't worry, we're not going nowhere. Cupid's Corner, me and my beautiful wife Sharice, every Sunday at 11 a.m. And if you can't watch it live, don't worry, you can DVR it or you can go over to YouTube or any of our social media channels and check it out for yourself. So we love you guys. We appreciate you guys. We're going to bring in this 2024 together, rocking and rolling, and hitting all of our resolutions all the way through and through. We'll see you guys next Sunday for another Cupid's Corner. See you then. We'll next see you year. Then.